so many memories buried in the soil. Look who's come to join the party. He presses a forefinger against his chin and hums. You understand enough, and there is something my heart, such as it is, is set on. Well, that's the gold-plated question it is. I dare say you'll enjoy this story. Somewhere in this graveyard lies an object of tremendous power. Or so the legends say, anyway. Belonged to a family buried near here, the Surreys. I've been reading up on them. An ancient clan of eccentrics and oddballs. Fascinating people, truly. Old Joanna was the last. The poor, poor, poor dear. Had no money, no children. Just this incredible heirloom passed down to her through the generations. Problem is, no one knows what this object is. Only that it's an astounding piece of work. Seems Joanna took its secrets to her grave. Rather literally. His coy grin freezes. I can recite each page from memory, but I've neither the time nor the inclination. Tarquin sighs and his lips unfreeze. For a moment, he looks almost modest. It pains me to say, but you've talents in the adventuring department that I do not. This heirloom could prove valuable for both of us. Beautiful. The Surrey too must be somewhere nearby. And whatever that object is in there, I bet it's impressive. The dog growls and bears its teeth at you in a wide, unsettling grin. You swear you see a worm emerge from its grey-pink gums, then burrow back in. Human graves. May the dead stay forever at rest. still here, like the air itself's been petrified. Well, isn't this rich? Cursed by a coffin and rescued by a tree hugger. The indignity. Bones. What's this? I found something. It still sounds stuck. Must be more to it. I've spotted something. Ah, success.
Maybe this one. What did that do? Hear that? It did something. Shame. All this wealth's just going to waste. You feel the unusual object's vast energy before your hand even touches its smooth surface. Upon contact, the semi-transparent artifact shivers and speaks. You know this language. It is an archaic tongue spoken only by demons for untold eons. When as one, I am slayer of sin and the bane of the living. Restore my twin, make me whole. In Archive of Old, the blade resides, an isle of blood where demons abide. The Shard responds with another sequence of unusual and ominous words. This language is beyond your comprehension. Any luck in old lady Surrey's tomb? He places his hand on the artifact, and it drones in the demonic tongue. When, as one, I am slayer of sin and the bane of the living, restore my twin, make me whole. The object continues. In archive of old, the blade resides, an isle of blood where demons abide. It's true, then. Anathema, within reach. I can restore anathema to working condition, but this is only half of it. We still need the blade. How fortunate that the hilt has already told us where to find it. Blood Moon Island. something. The transparent artifact glimmers of its own accord, as if conducting light from another world, another plane of living. As your hand nears it, it shivers and speaks. Your head perks. You know these words. This is the language of demons. Few have heard it spoken aloud. Connected as one. The past and the present slave. Absolution and redemption await the one whose sins are many. The hilt of a blade, I do believe, but clearly no ordinary blade. 